In the Light Shark, we have filters for recording, adding, and removing two existing cues beginning in version 1.5, 2.5, and up. Let's see how they work. First, I'll select some of my lights. I'll put them in a look here. And now I'm going to record that to a new cue as a starting point. Perfect. Playing that cue, I can see my output to the stage. Now let's look at our filtering options. First, I want to look at the add option. The add record option is really easy to use. So I'm going to take these lights and now make them blue. I'll press this arrow, which brings me over to our record options page. When I press record, I'm able to see those options as selectable. In this case, we're going to use the add option. So we're going to go ahead and add this blue color, whereas previously it was in a green color. Press our cue, and it's been added. Now if I clear and replay that cue, we can see the new parameters are active in that cue. Let's take it a step further. I'm going to go ahead now and make these Sharpies green and record them into a second cue. Perfect. Now, if I go and say I change their position. I go to record that, and this time select my add filter and press my cue list. When there are multiple cues in the cue list, the light shark will ask you whether you want to just merge or add into the active cue or into all of the cues in that playback. In this case, I'll just use the active cue. Perfect. Once again, then once we refresh that cue, we see the new parameters are active. The remove filter works very much in the same manner. So I'll take my lights. I'll go ahead and bring in a color. Let's say we bring in the blue here. Press record. This time I'm going to choose remove. I'm going to select that cue list and this time we'll select all the cues and let's see what happens. Clearing out my programmer. I can now play through my cues. Previously, I had the first cue blue and the second cue was green, though I don't think I turned on intensity. But if I go to my parameters, I can see here that we've wiped out color entirely from these fixtures selected in the cue by using the remove filter. Now, the add and remove filters can be used with the other record parameter filters here in the light shark, and it can be very powerful. So let's say I take these lights now and I adjust their position and I select a color and I also select a gobo. Now I go to record and in my record options, by default, all of the different types of parameters are selected. In my programmer, I currently have Tilt, Color, and Gobo in the programmer. This time, let's just go ahead and build a new queue, but I only want to affect the position and the color, so I'll deselect all the rest of these options. I'll place it on a new queue, play it, clear my programmer, and we see now we have essentially the same look, except there's no gobo, because when we recorded, we had deselected the gobo filter as well as the others that we were not using. Only position and color were stored into that queue. See? We have tilt, we have tilt fine, and we have color, and that's all. Anything that we filtered out using the record filters does not get recorded. This can be a huge time-saving and helpful tool when working fast on a live show, when you might not have time to go to your programmer and clear out the different rows. You may just want to use a filter when recording to make it fast and easy. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.